Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you all are fit and fine at your home. Today, I Rashmi Goyal is here to teach you English grammar. Children, in previous classes, you already learned about naming verbs. So, can you tell me what are naming verbs? Yes. Naming word is a name of person, place, thing and animal. So, let's learn more about naming words. Look at these pictures. In first picture, there is a girl. Another side, these are girls. Now look at this picture. In first picture, there is a boy. And look at the another side. There are many balls. Next picture. In this picture, there is a dog. And another side, there are many dogs. Next picture, there is a house. And another side, there are Houses. So, tell me, children, what did you observe in these pictures? Let's see. Yes, in this picture, in first group, you can see one girl, one house, one boy. And one dog. They all are one in numbers. And in second group, there are five girls, two houses, three boys, and four dogs. It means they are more than one in numbers. So, we call them many or plural. So, today you will be learning about one and many. One means only one. We call it singular. And many, many means more than one. We call it plural. Okay, children. Now tell me, would you like to know how to change one to many? कि हम किस तरह से one object को many में change करते हैं? Yes. So when we make singular to plural means one to many, we add s at the end of the word. Example one bag, many bags. In next picture, one cat, many cats. Yes, children, look at these pictures. We have added S. After the spelling of cat. Okay? Yes. Children, you know, some naming words change from one to many by adding es. If a naming word ends with s, double s, ch, sh, o, or x, we add 
as at the end of the words. For example, look at these pictures. In first picture, one bus. When we change it into many, we, we will add ES at the end of bus. Bus, buses. One bus, many buses. Next picture, one glass, many glasses. One brush, many brushes. One box and many boxes. Now, children, after completing our chapter, we will do one activity. Now, look at these words. One cow. Many cows. One shop. Many shops. One plant. Many plants. One tiger. Many tigers. One pencil. Many pencils. One branch. Many branches. One beach. Many beaches. One dish many dishes one fox and many foxes now children this chapter has completed and you have to complete a book work of chapter 7 thank you